Well, I, I'm having a good time on this picture because I really like this group. They're really, they're wonderful. Andy Bergman is the director, and Nathan Lane is uh, my leading man. And we have David Hyde Pierce. John Cleese was on for a while. Amanda Peet is in this picture. Uh, Stalker Channing. It's a really good cast, and they're all very funny, inventive uh, people. My memory of Jackie Suzanne is very specific, and I didn't know her well. Uh, I, I actually, I never met her. I mean, I knew her from her publicity machine, which was enormous, and I knew her from her, her, uh, her appearances on television, and uh, from the excitement that she generated. I, I, I remember the bigness of her, uh, her image. The fact that she had big hair, big nails, big lips, lots of makeup, big earrings, everything about her was outsized. She was a, a tall girl, tall woman, and uh, with a very deep voice. And she spoke slowly. And so the first thing I thought was, oh my God, I'm too little. I'm too small to play this part. And I'm too, uh, I can, I'm not going to get the voice right. And I, wonder, I wondered if everyone remembered her the way that I remembered her. Um, and uh, people, Andy said that it, that certain things didn't matter and certain things did matter, that the spirit mattered and the the will and the intensity of her uh, of the way she lived her life mattered and her 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 good time. Her she was a real party girl and she loved the nightlife and all those the, there were things that did matter and there were things that I could leave by the wayside and once he let me off the hook as far as the voice was concerned, then I was really fine. I do understand her as a character. I understand that drive and that ambition and the idea that you don't want to be, uh, you want to, don't want to uh, have lived without leaving something behind, no matter how small a mark. Because I think everybody, that's universal. Everyone. Jackie and Irving together built something that was very, that was there, that was perfect for the two of them. They're, they, they had a child who was autistic and uh, the child uh, lived in an institution. And they had a little dog that they put a lot of feeling into. But I think the, what they put the most feeling and the most emotional investment into was this, this, this illusion that they created and it built around Jackie Suzanne's success as a writer. Uh, I think that was their, their, their baby. And they were a perfect team. They, they built on each other's strengths, and they, and they were terrifically supportive of each other, and I think it was a, a wonderful match. It's such a wonderful love story. It's very, very sweet. It has all those Damon Runyon overtones, but at the same time, it also has at the bottom of it real heart. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. He's like a throwback, too, in a funny way. I mean, I am. I, people have always said that about me. But he is as well. He, he uh, has the same fascination with that, that time and, as I do. So I think we're very, very evenly matched. Plus, he loves music, and he, he, had, he, he gets the joke. I am required to sing in this picture. I sing badly, because Jackie was not a great singer, and yet she was a real enthusiastic singer. <laughs> they couldn't get her to stop singing. And I think she, at one point she even had an act. And she, it wasn't a success because she was not much of a musician, but she really loved it. 